Now, it's hard to ignore that this car right here is one of the best-selling models of all time, with over 37 million sold and one of the top three cars ever produced since the invention of the automobile. And today, there's a brand new one. Right then guys, here we go. This is a quick walk around of the exteriors of the GTE in white and GTI in red. So we'll start on this one, shall we? So yes, you can see this one actually has lots of really nice blue accents on the very front of the car here. And uh, we'll pop the ignition on in a minute and you'll actually see the Volkswagen badge does illuminate, which I do hope does come to the UK, but we'll obviously have to wait and see uh, what happens in the future. But yes, moving around to the side, it's got the Golf kind of iconic design that everyone knows and loves. And then move around to the back here. GTE written nice and big on the back. And then you can see actually with the red one there, it's actually got the lights on. So if we move on over to this one, GTI on the back. Very, very nice twin exhaust on the back, which of course you'd expect on a Golf GTI. And of course on this particular one, lots of red piping everywhere. And you can definitely see that on the front here. So just above the lights, these newly styled lights, red piping across the entire front of the car. Now guys, of course, this car here today is a pre-release car. So it might not represent the full spec that you might see when it kind of arrives in the country. So also double check with your local Volkswagen for exact specs as it might differ slightly. But there are a few cool things on this that I hope do come to the UK. Now, of course, guys, the interior of this car is stunning. Not only are the screens quite big, and of course, there are varying different screen sizes. Again, specs will vary by the time it does actually come out, but it's impressive, like really good. You've got like a full-on digital instrument cluster just here, big multimedia system in the middle here, and it looks like it's completely different compared to the uh, outgoing Golf. Volkswagen continuing the kind of touch sensitive buttons just along the bottom of the screen. And you'll be pleased to know that the steering wheel buttons, yes, buttons, they aren't actually touch sensitive uh, kind of controls. They're actually just buttons on the steering wheel, which is uh, really, really good to see. But yes, just Golfs with that iconic design. Of course, you've even got the gear stick in the middle as well, which is very, very familiar. Remember, this is kind of just like a facelift. So it's very subtle changes, uh, but a few improvements here and there. So what else has changed on the 2024 model? Well, on the multimedia system, it now features a faster processor than before, so even more responsive, and will have two screen size options of 10.4 inches and 12.9 inches, depending on the one you want to go for. It'll also feature the IDA voice assistant for quick access functions while you're on the move too. Hopefully if I get my hands on the finished production model, I'll be able to test them out. Now, depending on the country that the new Golf was sold in, specs, as always, will vary around the world. So keep an eye out for trim levels such as the Golf, Life, Style, R-Line, and of course the GTE and GTI versions. Anyone want to guess which one my favourite is? Speaking of GTE and GTI, let's briefly cover engines. Now, most new engines will now feature mild hybrid technology. However, if you want to delve into plug-in hybrids, the range of these ones will now go up to 100 kilometers, which of course, translated to miles, is just over 60 miles. Now that's very impressive. Here's the full list of engines. Two 1.5 liters at 115 PS and 150 PS, but they also feature mild hybrid technology. Two plug-in hybrids at 204 PS and 272 PS, and of course then the classics with a turbocharged petrol engine, 115 PS and 150 PS, a couple available with a manual transmission, and of course the GTI version shown here, 265 PS. You can of course go for diesel as well. These are two liter available in 115 PS and 150 PS in case you're striving for economy. On the exterior, as I mentioned at the start, new LED lights along with new rear LED lights give a very modern look and a lot straighter than before, kind of angling round towards the side of the car. In fact, apparently, if you go for the IQ light LED matrix headlights, then you can even customize the welcome and goodbye effects just for that added customization. Now, as this is just the full worldwide reveal of this car, I would absolutely love to check this out when it arrives in the UK. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. So guys, that is the Volkswagen Golf. Now I'm curious to see what you guys think in the comment section down below, as I've always fancied the Volkswagen Golf myself. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And of course, as always, if you want to check out any more Volkswagen content, click this little pop-up banner here, as that one's gonna take you straight to all the Volkswagen content I've covered on my channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you soon.